Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install custom Minecraft maps in Minecraft 1.15.1. We're going to be going over every single step of getting custom maps in 1.15.1 from downloading them to installing them in-game. All of that is going to be covered in this video. We're going to be going over every single part of it step by step. But first we do have a message from our sponsor which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below at thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DNOS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. And guess what? You can host any of the custom maps that you want on Apex Minecraft hosting and play them with your friends. They have in-depth support and great tutorials showing you exactly how to add custom Minecraft maps to your Minecraft 1.15.1 server if it's hosted through Apex Minecraft hosting. So if you want an incredible Minecraft server for you and your friends to enjoy, you can check out Apex the first link down below. Again, that is thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump on into how to get custom maps installed in Minecraft 1.15.1. First and foremost, you will need to download some Minecraft 1.15.1 custom maps. And uh, currently, unfortunately, there aren't many out there. So I'm going to be showing you how to install a 1.14.4 custom map and update it. But the process is going to be the same when 1.15 maps do come out and are popular. So nevertheless, here is our list of Minecraft 1.15 custom maps. I'm updating this every day, just checking for new good custom maps. Currently, all of these are 1.14 compatible and can be converted up. However, from the start here, we are just going to be using Freaky Parkour because that's just a quick and easy one that we know we can update. However, like I said, all these can be updated the exact same way and will work in 1.15.1. But um, yeah, overall, hopefully within the next few weeks, these will all be 1.15 maps anyway. So expect this to change by the time you get here, but all these maps will work in 1.15. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on the green download button here on Freaky Parkour. This will take us off to Freaky Parkour's download page where we will want to download Freaky Parkour. So so let's go ahead and scroll down and you'll see the download Minecraft map here. When you click on that, it will go ahead and download in the bottom left the freakyparkour.zip. It might take you off to Mediafire where you need to just kind of skip through some stuff in order to get it to download, but it will then download a .zip file like that. Now if we go ahead and minimize our browser, in our desktop we do have the freakyparkour.zip. We want to go ahead and double click on that and in here you'll probably have a folder named Freaky Parkour or whatever the name of your map is. Now. You should be able to double click on that file and then you'll see data, dim one, data packs, all of this stuff. If you see data and dim dash one, then go ahead and backspace, right? So click the backspace arrow up here in the top left and drag Freaky Parkour, whatever the name of your map is, to the desktop. Then double click on what you have on the desktop and it should immediately say dim one, dim dash one and have data in there. If it does, you are good to go. Additionally, if Freaky Parkour or whatever your map was had all of these files there as soon as you opened it, you would right click on it, click extract all, and then click OK, and then it would extract your desktop. Just make sure that the folder is unzipped on your desktop, and as soon as you double click on it, you see data, dim1, and dim-1. Now let's go ahead and get this installed. This is pretty simple, just click the little Windows icon. For me, it's in the top left of my screen, but it's probably in the bottom left of your screen. But that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen, go ahead and click on that and then type in run, R-U-N, right like so, the run desktop app. Now on your, in this run desktop app here, you wanna go ahead and type in percent app data percent, percent sign app data percent sign, exactly like that, and then go ahead and hit enter. This will open up your roaming folder here, where you'll have a .minecraft folder. Then in your .minecraft folder, you'll have a saves folder. Then when you open up your saves folder, you'll see all of the maps that you have installed and all of the basically single player worlds that you have installed in Minecraft 1.15.1 or in Minecraft in general. Now you wanna just take Freaky Parkour, whatever map you have downloaded and drag and drop it into this saves folder. Again, you wanna double click on it once it's in this folder to make sure that as soon as you open, you see data and dim one, dim dash one. If you don't see those, then you need to make sure you do by hitting backspace until you, or going into the folder until you do, hitting backspace, then dragging that into your saved folder. If you don't see those as soon as you open, it's not gonna work. Now we can go ahead and open up Minecraft 1.15.1 and our map will be there. I'm also gonna show you how to convert older maps because this is in and of itself an older map um, because again, there's not many really at all 1.15 custom maps. A few are trickling out over time, but overall it's easier for me to show you how to update an older map than it is for me to show you how to install a new map with when none are out. So 
Nevertheless, once we're in game here, we can go ahead and click on single player. And if you scroll down some, you will find your map. It is called Freaky Parkour down here at the bottom. Yours is probably called something completely different, but it will most likely not be your most recent world. It'll probably be somewhere down towards the bottom. Now, if we go ahead and double click on Freaky Parkour, it's going to say, or do you really want to load this world? This world played in the latest version of whatever on this version. Yes, we do want to go ahead and upload it and basically accept it. I know what I'm doing, convert the world and get it up and running. And then we'll be good. As you can see, it's converting the world, no problem there. Now, this won't work for any maps 1.12 or older, right? 1.12 or older maps can be updated, but you have to go through each version individually. I did that in our 1.15 Minecraft custom map tutorial, which you can check out at the eye at the top of your screen. However, at this point, you know how to install 1.15.1 custom maps. Where's the sign? Um, there we go, boom. So as you can see, TPs is up here and we are good to go. We are good to do parkour. I'm getting better at doing parkour, to be honest. I used to be absolutely horrible at parkour. There we go, I went too fast. But nevertheless, there you all have it. That is how you can um, download and install custom Minecraft maps in Minecraft 1.15. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We have two grief-protected survival servers. Our medieval survival server has over 30 custom quests, and our aquatic survival has an incredible slash shop-based economy. We also have a custom skyblock server that you will absolutely love with, of course, slash shop and custom OP enchantments and a ton of awesome stuff like custom islands uh, slash mine. It is absolutely incredible. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I can't wait to see you online. Nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I am out. Peace.